Hello and welcome to Let's Play In The Space 2, Series 7, Episode 42. I'm JC Proton, we're picking up at turn 174. We're playing Horatio on Endless Difficulty in an Endless Duration game. We're going for a score victory. Which right now we are third place, I believe. Yeah, third place. And, um... Yeah, at the end of the first video in the series, we were in last place. So we've slowly clawed our way up to third place. And, uh, so yeah, that's that's how we're doing. Um, it's the only victory condition enabled, So because we haven't completed that yet. Um, so we'll go for score, uh, and we'll get that hopefully, unless we, you know... Uh, if, if we eliminate every other uh, faction in the galaxy, then there's also a victory condition. Uh, I think it's the Eternal End or something like that. I forget exactly what it's called. I've never achieved it, so that would be an achievement. So there's, there's also that option. Um, anyway, we're picking up at turn 174 after the <laughs> surprise attack by the Cravers at Cran. Their fleet attacked, and uh, we spanked them. We, 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 we sent them packing. We sent them packing. That, that's what happened. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move our fleets. Yeah, what we ended up doing was... We, we sent uh, six this way, and we're sending another fleet over this way towards Lyra. So we split up the fleet that was victorious. <coughs> and we have new reinforcements on the way. So we'll just move through this we turn. We know not what game you play, but we have a proposal. You're the caviar of the galaxy. Tell us. Tell us what you plan. Okay. Populations are growing. Let's see, AF. Let's send one to AC. And that's it. That's the only one that's close to being maxed out on population. So everything else, I'll just leave, let it, leave it alone. We'll just let it happen. Got a bunch of attackers that got completed. A hyperhelix dynamo, skyward dwellings. Okay, we got. We can raise this and see what happens with our numbers up here. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. And now we'll be working on terraforming this Mediterranean into a jungle. Cool. Alright, so let's uh, bump these out of the air um, hangers. Five. I don't think there were five. Two, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there were only five. And that's it. School, prayer, colonized toxic. Cool, so we're starting to work on this tech now for improved medium ships of the coordinator type. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that dude can hang out. Thank you. 
noticed on uh, videos that I record late at night like this, I tend to talk way less. So I guess maybe I shouldn't record this late. I don't know. Maybe I talk too much most of the time. <laughs> yeah, now that these guys have expert uh, vision range, it's less necessary to send probes. Mostly. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, well that was a pretty quiet, uneventful turn, wasn't it? Sixteen ninety-three. Will I hit seventeen hundred this turn, maybe? He's probably licking his wounds right now. Three percent deposit value on luxury resources across the empire, and plus two industry per pop on planets where they're ecstatic on the system, and plus thirty-three percent resource deposit value on luxury resources. Okay, so I think we'll go for the resources one, even though the industry and stuff uh, would be really good. Let's take a look here. We go with this one that's 34.4 7.7 and 5.2 45.4 plus 9 6.2. I think that's the winning move. Yeah. Let's let's take let's take the resources. The the more resources we have, the faster the faster we advance. And maybe we could do a little bit more of this. Let's do Boolean. See what the, let's let's increase this so it's the eight point two thousand <coughs> this hero is a senator right now instead of eight point two thousand it's nine point eight Fourteen hundred 
team with AJ. We know not what game you play, but we have a proposal. Okay, so attackers at C, F, and G. Score 1736. Whisker movement, that one has, I don't see how it makes much difference between them. He's a veteran three, he's a veteran three, and one of these we wanted to send to Lyra. He'll get there in seven, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's the one that has a teeny bit of movement left. This other one, Buckler, Battlefleet. Okay, let's uh, let's merge all these. Okay, so there was an elite. So there were two elites, right? Veteran, veteran, veteran three. Okay, elites. So we'll take these. Break them out. Okay, and that was the last of the level three modernizations. So now all of our systems are colony three, except for that one's a colony four. So now we're looking at doing colony fours. <coughs> so the colony four upgrade it takes a hundred blue cap which I'm producing at 45.7, so it takes two, a little over two turns, so maybe two and a half turns, something like that. Uh, it takes 24 endless foundries, which I produce in less than three turns. So that's less than three turns, and that's less than three turns. And so 24 of these at 6.2 is four turns so 
this is our bottleneck right now this meta intactogen so I'm, what I'm going to think about doing here is at some point I'm going to move a hero to where I'm producing meta intactogen I need to put a hero over here who increases the resources so either this guy plus four resource to deposit value that's a pretty good choice so either this guy or my even better guy this guy because he has that same thing plus he has this <clears throat> so that might be the move put this guy there especially once he completes this <coughs> sorry with the coughing um, I'll have to think about it I might end up moving him over there which means um could consider so I don't have enough in this foundries to do it this turn but I'll do it next turn nine would be 28 no nine would be 26 that's more than 24 so next turn I'll have the level four modernization but think about it I might do it here and move that hero over here uh, and that'll increase our, our meta intactogen. I'm gonna have to look into how I can increase that rate. Because um, that's the bottleneck, so I have to look into that. Ooh, shuffle these populations around a little bit too. All right, well, I tell you what, um, let's see if there's any fleet movement. We'll go ahead and do this stuff here real quick. Flying off. All right, so that's that's it for this turn. Uh, I guess we'll pick up uh, we'll pick up next time at turn one seventy six. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.